these things that that we're not looking at, Threat Locker is really being a block for and having me sleep really good at night because I don't like being on the news and explaining. <laughs> Actually, I mean, prefer it. I don't want to be on the news explaining how we got hacked. And I think Threat Locker is do, being a big part there. We are an ambulance company um, in the central Illinois area. Um, we transport probably over half a million or more a year in critical care, non-ambulance transfer, et cetera. We definitely focus a lot on technology, even in our ambulance and in our day-to-day -day doing business. We, we kind of did it a little different than uh, the average partners or customers. We got on the call with you guys and fell in love with the product and boss John just said, you know what, let's sign for it right now, today. And we went ahead and bought all the products. I think we got a good deal for it. Elevation was a big reason why I agreed to Threat Locker. We have this production service that our the ambulance provider use to get calls, 911 calls, so they can route to it. Software we're using constantly needs to update. The problem is that when you update them, it pops up with an admin. We'll get calls or tickets. We'll be there like, hey, I need to update. And it's two o'clock in the morning. No one's there to answer. And then when we do answer, they're sleeping. It, it was really hard to get all the that all that software updated and some of the features they need to do their job was missing because the update wasn't there. Um, implementing Threat Locker made that process went away, which is a couple of clicks. We're able to actually get the product successfully elevated. So all they do is just hit next, next, next. And it's like, we were never needed in the first place. They can handle it on themselves. So that was definitely a big help. And HIPAA is definitely a big deal here. We do HIPAA training every year. We have a whole HIPAA department, compliance department, I should say. Um, it definitely keeps our server and our data safe from malware and definitely be able to control the software and, uh, and who needs to access the data. My experience with the cyber support team is fantastic. Any, anytime I have any issues or frustration with a product, I can easily go on, go on there, I message them and say, hey, um, can you help me with this or ask a question? They respond quickly. If I don't feel like typing, they give you the option to do a webinar right then and there. They put up a link, you click on it. You have someone there talking to you and walking through the product. Every time I call the cyber security um, line, um, I always learn something in the product. They always willing to teach you and, and show you where resources are. They're really helpful. Love them. I think a year ago, I saw Threat Locker at a show. I want to say it was Danny that was speaking and he was describing how malware works and how installation like the biggest thing about malware is that they have to install somewhere and i really got it got a feels like man that's a really good solution so after the conference a few days later someone reached out i saw a demo i was like oh this is fantastic but we had already a security solution in place so it wasn't a good fit then we got new management and then the conversation came back up on costs like hey we need to eliminate some costs uh, and this security solution is coming up. Do you have anything in mind? And I say, you know, let's try Threat Locker. And, and that's how it really came about. It, it, it definitely hit me and say, wow, yeah, he's right. There is, that is definitely the, the weak point of a malware. It has to be installed. So going from that concept, like, okay, maybe we could use a zero trust in that area. And then the first thing I thought about was doing it on our servers because the servers is behind the firewall. So it's not that much protection because you know you know people don't like putting firewalls up on the server because it, it's a pain to deal with the, the servers was kind of leaving ex exposed if you got into the network and that was a concern i think that's where threat locker solution per was perfect where it can focus on protecting our servers so even if someone does get in they have to deal with threat lock but you have the allow listing was what the, the key one i was looking at ring fencing was the next one um so that there's no application hopping um, we definitely, um, we're still working on figuring out network control. I think we got elevation pat down and storage control. We're still working on as well. Having control on who is able to install what application at what time was definitely a big deal. Cause sometimes you have some applications on, on our systems that weren't authorized or, or, or they probably need, um, some authorization, but we, we didn't have any way of actually looking into and seeing if this was legit or not. The third one, which we're in the process of using, is getting better control on who have access to what. Right now, we have kind of a, a design that that kind of give people uh, freely access when sometimes they don't really need to have access to stuff because it shows you a cookie crumb of 
okay, this this is executed and that's executed and that's executed and this can block. But the block and the allow is one part of it, but the next part of it is that it's showing you the, the path, the history of what's happened, the activity. That's huge. And I don't know if people highlight that not a lot, but that's like, it's not even security. It's more for helping for troubleshooting because then we get a better insight into the into our devices and systems when we see all these activities. I, what I love to do when I'm in Threat Locker is I go into the Unified Audit and just hit search with the dates and all that stuff today in the future already pre-filled out. And that gives you like a rundown of what's going on today. Oh, um, this girl delete that file or this happened. You know, you can see it right, right then and there and gives you a strong availability before we did not have that. I'll definitely say it makes me more conscious of what's coming in and out of our network and on our systems. It kind of gave me an opportunity to look behind the scenes and see, okay, what this department, say for example, billing, they need access to the billing server, but they also need access to this server because there's a connection from this server to that server. I wouldn't know that without Threat Locker. And that 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 kind of have me more security conscious and comfortable in my environment on a security level. So I, I think that's a huge, um, it's not directly to production, but it definitely uh, makes me comfortable. And another thing I guess I can add to it is that we were having a discussion about Threat Locker with management. They were actually complain about how stuff is not going through and they're getting pop-ups and all of that. And I explained to them, okay, here's what Threat Locker is doing. Basically protecting the system so it doesn't trust anything. We have to tell it that this is okay. And that's why if this doesn't happen, we, we can have a security incident. And everybody paused on the phone and got back and he said, management said, man, this tool is really cool. This needs to go in our newsletter. You know, this is a really good tool. Identifying those benefits that Threat Locker have on a management perspective, they instantly see the value and they're not technical. This is just peers' opinion uh, based on being in the organization. I think the the, origin, the goal is, is to do what they've been doing for over 20-something years. It's definitely help, helping the community grow. Keep the efforts going, helping the community grow. And our job in IT is to make sure that they can do that. And I know data itself has become a currency so far. I know there are sites out there that says, if you have a Facebook, data you have on Facebook is worth, and this is public information, it's worth a hundred and something dollars this day. And the same thing with Snapchat and all the other ones. So if you calculate all up, the person down the street could be worth a lot of money. So I know data is very valuable, especially patient data. Um, that's that's high market on the market. So so we're, we're, we're a target just to have this. And I think Threat Locker help um, with just the, the zero trust model, like having that concept where all of our systems that store the data and everything we have has to go through a process in order to access it. Or there has to be something there in place that that will stop any possible thing that we don't think about. Like, yeah, you know, in an organization, to have like an isolated network, we get a firewall and the firewall protects everything that comes in. Sure, and then we have antivirus software just in case someone clicks on an email or we happen to be outside the organization, but we're not really thinking about like threat inside the organization where someone um, in, is trying to intentionally hurt. We don't have no blockers for that. Threat locker came into play for that. Or having someone um, try to access, access a server where they shouldn't be or access our storage when not needed. So like everything is just either you're on the list or you're not on the list in every product that you guys have i like mm -hmm. that that's definitely make you a little bit different than the rest and you you cover you cover the portions that that matter you might not be able to like cover like the entire network when it comes to the pc you guys definitely thought about the, the whole concept and say okay they're gonna need something that allow them to install or not install they're gonna need some form of elevation they're gonna need some form of ring fencing because it's possible that once you give them ad admin access, you have this, you know, so it's like a solution. Uh, a lot of these solutions that, that are there now, it doesn't seem like it's thought out enough so that people can actually use it. Tool. And I think Threat Locker does a good job on that.